once again, 1989 Carver 3877. It's in good shape. She's just been uh, washed and detailed. Everything's been done new on it. Really nice uh, canvas work on the flybridge and on the sun deck. Very clean. There is this window that's currently being replaced. That'll be taken care of here shortly. When something breaks on the boat, he fixes it. And he's kind of outfitted this boat for his own liveaboard. He spent over $100,000 upgrading it, redoing the interior, the engines. Like I said, nothing on the boat had been left untouched. Going aboard Rafaleo is quite easy with the steps, which come convey with the boat. You go right up to the gate, and that brings you to a very nicely appointed aft sun deck area. Everything you see in the pictures does uh, convey with the boat. The sun deck has a nice bar, well, uh, well appointed, well stocked. And a uh, refrigerator with a little freezer in it. Storage underneath. And these wing doors, these are nice. This is uh, semi-rigid polycarbonate. So these can simply zip shut and keep you protected. They're very easy to navigate. All the rest of the uh, enclosure you can see is in great shape. Crystal clear Isinglass uh, lends to excellent visibility all the way around the boat. The side decks are fairly easy to navigate. The stern, the railing just high enough, and uh, a railing on the cabin top as well make it easy to go forward. Fender storage forward. Nice windlass. This is a rope to chain type windlass. And through the Bruce anchor. We got on the pulpit. I do my hop test, it seems very sturdy and strong. Spacious four decks in really nice shape. The gel coat is in good shape. I don't see uh, any problems with that. Underneath here, he's got a nice cushion on the bow. Got the, the mesh window covers, help keep the sun out, help with privacy during the daylight hours. Then we go right on down this side. Back to this wing door. Zips open, and we're back on the uh, sun deck. From the sun deck, just up three steps to the uh, flybridge. You see a very nicely organized uh, console here. We've got radar. The radar is a little bit dated. Um, the Garmin GPS is a newer model. That is the GPS 1040XS. All right, we've got uh, hydraulic throttles and uh, gear shifters. All the engine gauges. Compass in good shape. Raymarine uh, autopilot here. And an old North Star um, Explorer uh, gauge there. They've put the uh, washer and dryer here up on the flybridge. Separate washer and dryer up here. Take up a little space, but they don't really uh, take up the whole flybridge. Eyes and glass up here is in equally as good a shape. Upholstery is in good shape.
nice roomy flybridge. Going down below, we have a, about three or four steps down. We come to the main salon. It's got new carpet, new sofa with uh, storage underneath. Got these nice honeycomb blinds. They go up, up or down. Very nice. He's done some decent balance work too. Some nice fabric balances and the headliner's in great shape. All the light fixtures are new and have LED lights. He's put cut solid surface countertop down uh, in this area. A decent main salon and you have your main um, Electrical distribution panel right here for AC and uh, DC. This is a galley down design, so we go down a couple steps. We come to the galley. A really nice, uh, what I call an earthen sink. This is a solid, uh, solid surface uh, resin type uh, basin. Huge. And uh, of course, we've got beautiful cabinetry, a nice microwave oven. This is a induction cooktop and a new dishwasher. Uh, look at that. All very nice. All the wood's been re refinished and looks like new, really. Beautiful woodwork, much better than uh, I expect to see on a carver. Even the parquet floor is still in good shape. Now he's done away with the settee that used to sit across from here. And it's basically made this into uh, more of the galley. So we have uh, additional galley countertops here. And lighting and valances put in. And additional storage below the countertops. Just forward of the galley. We have the uh, guest head, really nice shape, enclosed shower, electric toilets, so you can go from there into the forward cabin. It's about a queen sized berth. Plenty of storage, all the headliners and hall liners and whatnot are either in really good shape or have been replaced new. we got uh, storage on both sides and uh, it opens to the, to the guest head, so very nice, really nice, parquet floor is still in great shape. Otherwise, all the carpet's brand new. The carpet here is made to uh, come up, so you can take up the carpet because there is uh, access hatches here for the engine room, which I'll try to get into later. First, let's go check out the master. Let's go down a couple steps to the uh, master bedroom. It's got an island queen. Walk around each side or halfway around one side and around the other. It's got a large uh, uh, hanging locker here. All done in nice cedar. Vanity, they've got a new countertop on the vanity and the head here you can see we've got a shepherd shower stall the basin raised basin uh, sink and again electric toilets here in the head the window is on the side here under these uh, you can see I, I don't see any signs of leaking and these windows can actually open up and give you a bit of ventilation Nice aft cabin. 
So with the carpet pulled back, you can get access to the engine room. The engines look very clean, very nice. They've had a lot of work done and may have been replaced. Again, please check the full listing. There's your generator and the other engine. It's tight in there, but an adult can fit down in there, and uh, he's got it pretty clean. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This vessel is listed by Dennis Mancinelli in Wilmington, North Carolina. If you have any questions at all, his contact information and a link to the full listing will be posted in the descriptions. Please check that out, and if you have any questions, give Dennis a call. Thanks. Have a great day.